Hi all, Erhi Koskinen here. Um, I'm first time playing with uh, January 2020 hip kits and um, I'm going to prepare some fun uh, Val Valentine's Day cards. Um, I picked up some pink paisley lucky us paper, some cardstock and vellum and one paper from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, first I'm going to cut with my lovely new paper trimmer from We Are Memory Keepers uh, some uh, base for the cards. They are, uh, the biggest one is three and a half and five inch long and then <laughs> the rest are smaller. I'm I'm not good at measuring things, I'm usually doing things and not focusing on measuring everything. And you can actually see that if you take a look, close look to my creations. But anyway, um, I cut these with the lovely um, punch board from uh, Jane Hatfield. And and we are memory keepers and now I'm attaching them together the way that there's cardstock first from also January Kit Kit and then a vellum piece and then some patterned paper with this lovely glitter tape. I also cut some uh, flowers with the same papers you can see here. Um, I used one of my um, dice. <laughs> I'm losing all the words, but don't worry. Um, uh, I got them and I'm going to layer them using some 3D foam to make sure that they are really dimensional. Uh, I'm adding this lovely glitter tape to make some I, I love to see different materials on my creations, so this glitter is something exciting for the cards. And uh, I'm going to add also some thread and things like that, so there's all kinds of layers. Um, this, um, this is the way I'm going to set these. The frame is um, the other side from one of the papers, that lovely green and white, um, and it's also one of my dies that I use to make the frame. But you can make make it with normal scissors or paper trimmer or anything. It's super easy to do the frames. And if you want me to show the tutorial for how to use them, just leave a comment and I will do so. Uh, I'm gluing down. The big, 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 big blooms, um, and I'm also using 3D foam to make sure that they are thick enough. There's a lot of dimension, and there's um, place to attach more things between the base and the embellishments. The leaves are from Epamero pack from Pink Fresh Studio, and um, I really love the way that black and white is there to support the flower and to support the message I'm going to uh, give to my friends with the with these cards. It's like everything supporting the story of saying love to friends. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm attaching these small circles uh, in the middle of each bloom and then some of these lovely glitter enamel dots. Uh, they are kind of the middle part of the bloom. Uh, for the papers I'm again using 3D foam. Um, actually I'm always using 3D foam except with the thread. I'm also using glue because the 3D foam will not um, secure the plumes if there's no clue between. 
but then um, I'm not sure if I want to add black message to each card so I'm first uh, picking up some lovely hard cards from these pink paisley lucky us uh, thickers and then then I'm going to write XOXO to one of the cards but not to all I don't want them to be too black but um, that one on the left side is <laughs> looking like that glitter tape is like made for a message so I'm adding some XOs there uh, I don't mind that the um, one on the right uh, where I added that green heart saying kiss me is partly uh, covered with the plume. You can actually see if the card is on your hand, you can actually see um, the whole praise or the words, um, but um, from the top you can see it. And I really like that kind of exciting uh, projects that you can actually have to look to see it completely and not like just with one look taking all in you have to focus on it if you want to really see it and that's fun I I'm always always excited to do layered crafts um, and as I love recycling, I saved this lovely ribbon from one of my girl's Christmas gifts. It's really beautiful and goes really well together with this silver glitter tape. And now I can use it again, which is always really good. Uh, I'm attaching it with a stapler, not making a knot or adding glue or anything like that because I love the way the lovely little metal pieces are looking and that's another detail to add to the cards. So now they are ready. I'm really grateful for you to watch my videos again and I hope we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching and leaving me some love and following me along. So, um, another video is already in the making, so we will really see you again soon. Bye!